my friends, Teacher Nicole here. Today I'm reading a story called On the Seashore. Have you ever been down to the seashore to look for treasures the sea has left behind? Sometimes there are trails of frilly seaweed and lots of dainty seashells scattered across the beach. And sometimes, hidden among the rocks, there's a pool of shimmering water. Right here. And nothing in the rock pool seems to move at first. But if you watch very closely, you might see two shiny eyes peering out of a small, grubby shell. Right here. What do you think that could be? Let's find out. <gasps> it's a little hermit crab. He's very, very shy. He spots a juicy mussel and he reaches out with his big, bumpy claws. He pulls the mussel out of its shell and gobbles it up in one big gulp. I wonder if our hermit crab would eat a mussel like that. But our hermit crab is pretty shy too. The hermit crab shares the rock pool with a spotty fish, an orange starfish, and a pretty anemone. The anemone is sitting on a twirly shell. This one right here. And we might have some in our classroom. The twirly shell is bigger than the hermit crab shell. He fills inside of it with his claw. There is no one living there. So he heaves himself out of his own shell to try the new one on. Without his shell, the hermit crab looks soft and rather bare. There. Look at these shrimp. One's covering his mouth, the other one's covering his eyes. Silly shrimp. Suddenly, a seagull swoops out of the sky and wants to eat him up. Quickly, the hermit crab dives into the twirly shell. The seagull tap, tap, taps hungrily on the shell, but it can't reach the hermit crab hiding inside. Whew! So glad. So it flies away to find its dinner somewhere else. The little hermit crab is safe. He drags his big new shell across the sand with a pretty anemone sitting on top his, his hard to spot at the bottom of the pool. They can't see him, he's right there. You can see his leg right there, but nothing else. Soon a gentle lapping wave start creeping up the seashore. They wash away the footprints and swallow up the sand. They cover the rocks and the rock pool disappears. Under the waves, the spotty fish and two shiny shrimp are free to swim away. The hermit crab clambers over the rocks and sets off to explore the deep blue sea. Maybe you'll find the hermit crab when the seas slips away again. Or maybe you'll be new treasure waiting to be found. The end. I hope you guys enjoyed that story. Bye.